What's up, y'all? Got a story to tell. <clears throat> and this time, while it's on my mind, being that it's uh, so close to the Super Bowl, it brings me to a, a fight that took place back in Solidarity State, Solidarity State Prison back in 02. Time fly. But anyway, the fight basically um, involved a discipline. Basically, uh, it was a, a crip. He was an out-of-state crip. I, don't, I forget what car he he was in. and uh, I forget his name anyway. So we just called him Derek. So uh, I forget what, what state Derek was from too, though. But I knew he was from out-of-state. But anyway, he got caught doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? And uh, So the discipline ensued. So to um, make a long story short, the two cats selected for the discipline there's another cat I'm going to say. His name is Eric. And the other cat name is Zoe. You know, so Eric was cool. Eric was, he was an L.A. dude too. But did Eric, one thing about Eric, he had a picture of every celebrity at that time. Back in 02 for the Nas, everybody, you named it. And it wasn't, you could tell it wasn't just about being in L.A. Because, you know, you running the celebrities all the time in L.A., but. You can tell he, he was involved in shit, plus conversations I had with him anyway. So, um, you know, so it was Eric and uh, Zoe. Zoe was another crib from Carson. And he was cool, too. We worked on the yard crew. And we got to keep in mind, we was all young. This we was like 19, 20. So, anyway, the DP happened. Bam. So, uh, another thing. If you've been to Solidad Yard in Solidad South, you know uh, how the buildings is. So, the um our day rooms is two room day rooms. When you walk in it's the tables or the car room or whatever, then it's a glass window, you can walk through it's another door, and it's the T V room. So basically the D P happened in the T V room, bam, they get on him, you know, everybody watching in the car room or whatever, bam, so it's over. So now this is like maybe a week to the Super Bowl. So, you know, it's a lot getting on, going on, everybody making bets. And keep in mind, at this time, I had a lot of Pruno going on. I used to make batches of Pruno. And one of my batches got hit. And it's one of the things the COs used to do, they would take it, they'd take the batch, and they'd walk out, like on the way our buildings is, they'd walk out the building, and there's some line, and they'd pour it off the line where everybody can see, basically. So anyway, one of my batches got hit. So, uh, leading up to that, and then another thing, oh, uh, boy, uh, Derek, you know, he, you know, running track, like, he training for a fight, so, you know, everybody, you know, they, they, they fuck with, they talking shit, like, oh, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, doing a little rocky thing or whatever, you know, so, you know, motherfuckers already know, like, man, he ain't, he ain't taking that DP too well, so, um. I guess so it ended up happening. He, I guess he wanted to head up fade with, with Eric. So, um, uh, you know, so I guess, you know, they let it happen. Anyway, so now, I'm trying to remember this shit, y'all. I'm uh, freestyling. But anyway, uh, so it's leading up to the Super Bowl. So it get arranged during the halftime show. So, and another thing, which is so crazy, you know how the COs is. We didn't even get to watch the Super Bowl the day of. We had to watch it the next day. You know, so you know we already knew who won and who lost. So people was already mad. But anyway, uh, so the fight go down. So and this is and it wasn't no winner or loser basically, y'all. So and I can't even necessarily remember the fight. It was a lot of wrestling. You know what I mean? Locking up, a lot of panting, you know, a lot of breaking up. Then they go head up for a minute. But one thing I learned by watching that fight is you got to have your win game, your stamina up. You know, because, you know, in the pen, you know, ain't no breaking up fights. That whole halftime show was the fight. And that's what I took from the fight. But, you know, they was getting on each other. I ain't going to lie. It wasn't, it, it wasn't no winner because, you know, I'll remember that if I knew who won. But that was a, a crazy moment uh, back then, you know, as far as the Super Bowl, you know, halftime highlight fight back in the Solidarity State Prison back in 02. 
Yeah, I discharged the P number, y'all, and uh, I got a few stories on that as well I may address. But I just wanted to get this out while it's on my mind. Holler back.